Hey guys, you're Bark Viewers, and welcome back to my FIFA 18 loop hook remote. Where in the last episode we had the League Cup final back in, in cup competition to start off this video with a game, a Premier League game against Crystal Palace. And um, I didn't upload yesterday. And I'm sure people are like, oh my god, here he goes. Here we go again. I just, I was, I was tired after my work experience. I, I just didn't feel like it, to be honest. Recording, recording anything on Friday was going to was probably never going to happen. I just had no interest in doing it whatsoever. So I'm sure you're all wondering, what does that mean? When you played here, Alan, well, you touched that Anfield sign on the way out? Was that only for the home team? I'm probably... For the home team, Martin. I, I'm, I'm thinking about keeping Friday for myself. Natural wide Since, oh, I'm... The shot gets blocked. As most of it is taken up by... Trying to a, um, switch on the attacking power in this situation. That whipped in ball at the near post. By, uh, by work experience. Made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. And what that ultimate means is I probably won't be posting videos on Friday for a good while if ever again I probably will post videos on Friday like maybe during holidays or maybe after I finish up the work experience but that's not until March so you know, that's that's still a few months away Um, so all in all, I think Andros Townsend keeping Friday to just you know recording some videos, but not posting any will be you know I'm, not, I'm much more. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option. Should have tried to get some power behind that shot. A much better setup for me, so that would mean you'd get three videos of each career mode, and Friday would be the break day where you don't you don't get any. Rafael with a save here. It does mean you're getting two Liverpool videos technically in a row. Get the advantage. I will try to avoid that being the case in the future. I'll, uh, I'll work something out. I will keep rotating the days. He's in a... Like, I'm recording this for today. This video you're watching. This video, this, this is the first video I'm recording in, today on Saturday. Since there's international football, oh, and I don't give a shit about that. Obviously, this gives me all day to record the six videos that I need to record. Yeah, six. Great news for Liverpool. They are in front. So this will go up today when I'm recording this, and there will I'll also record Monday's video and Wednesday's video, which will leave. And when I get to uh, Shamwa Neo ties. I'll be recording Sunday. Trying to get close, but not like that, eh? Well, it's a definite foul, and it's Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, 
I have nothing better to do today. And since there is no meaningful football on, except shy international football, and yeah. Very good distance to the clearance. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Cross is long towards the back post. Referee is pointed for a corner for Liverpool. Put the corner in the middle. Gomez! And into the goalkeeper's midriff. And Liverpool leading. But it's a pretty slender margin at this stage. We've got half time coming up. And they want to get there with this lead still intact. Liverpool will get the throw. So that that's probably gonna be the pitch here to make some thing going forward. Just because it makes you know more sense, it, it works out better. Oh no, it's 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 the defensive third point as much as he's doing. It'll probably work out much better in that way, Peter. I have a day just to myself, most of which I lose to uh, in any way. So, it's not like I'm sitting on my ass doing nothing all day. Well, actually, that's not specifically true. <laughs> you... Now it's time to go again for the. Uh, that, uh, that is uh, greatly overestimating how much I have to actually do. In the first half, you wonder whether we're going to see some tired legs as the second half wears on. The defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly. The lad who was trying to score. So yeah, I think I think that is the reason I didn't upload yesterday. Very attacking. Well. Explain how did that not go in? I thought that was sailing into the top corner. It looked a lot further off on that replay. To see his team put the game to bed, but they couldn't do it there without from the initial shot. Hmm. In a second, oh, oh really give me to a good area. Some breathing room here in terms of bath. It's a good cross. area. Cleared away by the defender. Clear away. To Gruich. Over the bar. With the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Now this is an interesting attack. That's a brilliant challenge. It'll have to be a goal kick. Goal kick. This is the kind of uh, pitch that I think attacking players favour, Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And, uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Come on. Lovely ball to Dominic Solanke. Can square it to Ben Woodburn, and it's 2 0. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. I think. Is this. I'm not sure. It's, yeah, this is the core file, I was going to say. The goalkeeper's hero. Can't be the semi final. I'm playing well, he left his at, uh, at Anfield. Box and it was a poor decision from him. Is this for the semi 
I know. Oh, he's got to make a change for his manager because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift. The substitution, Burp. I would imagine. Burp. Just wide Wake up, Bray. For fuck's sake. Patrick Van Arnhem. Turn pass. It's getting very desperate for Crystal Palace. Well, I think we're going to see some, some Route 1 stuff here, Martin, in the next few minutes. Oh, be... lovely ball. Lovely ball. Was a very well timed tackle. Sit way too easily. Bajaria picks it up. Come on. Can he clear his lines now? Straight He's into Ward. Down, Fantastic. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture for Liverpool. They'll be hosting Watford. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Cross for those of you wondering, uh, the fixtures got rearranged. Ah. Rearranged. Well, this is the time. So that's why Crystal Pass, or why I'm playing Crystal Pass now instead of Manchester United. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back. But the real ranging actually worked out because Spurs won their two games in hand. And so I have to win my next two Premier League games. Referee points for it. As you saw, the uh, second. Game of this episode is the first of those games against Watford. And who is the other one? Oh, the rearranged game against Manchester United. So I will still win the Premier League against Manchester United. It'll just be a little later than, than um, I would have hoped. I thought I was going to win it in this episode. But I'm uh, going to win in episode 20. Probing the pass. On, on the Monday, I almost Great forgot what day the next video, the blue poker video will go up. And I haven't recorded it yet. Well, by the time you're watching this, I probably have. He's made the save. That will be a corner for Liverpool. Put in the corner. Cleared away, well away from goal. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Coming on strong, looking to so get okay. away here. Another square to Ben Wood for a three. The game wrapped up well, I didn't in see it's been not the most spectacular the fashion, center. but does it matter? No. Nope. <laughs> it's another late goal to emphasize the gulf between the two sides today. Yeah, and it's been that type of match. I think everybody out there. No, very, very simple finish. The goal tallies, and they've done it. And the young Welshman. Enjoying the the adulation from the uh, home people. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. Ward. There is the full time whistle as if on cue. And the final score is 3 0. This great cut run is going on. I would be surprised if, even with them scoring two of the goals, I would have be giving man a match to the right man today. So often we think of his creative abilities, but. Then again, this game does not follow logic. Or. As its own logic. Yep, so I gave you a 10. There you go. There you go. Yeah, perfect game according to the game. The cluster that was leaking up to the uh, Solanke goal, which was awesome. Tapping now that I think about it. 
So I didn't exactly score any spectacular goals in that match, but uh, what can you do? Man United defeat Spurs, C beat Stoke, and Leicester beat Watford. So, you know, I would assume I'm going to get Leicester because that's how this game works. The football is. I would actually prefer to fit. Quarter final. Someone else. Three. Crystal Palace. In the FA yeah. Cup final. Majesty and over four. Leicester, considering Sandman I play Hotspur. Leicester in three. the uh, league. After Cup extra final. time. Stoke City, one. Manchester City, two. Everton, nil. Brighton and Hove Albion, two. You know, just for the variety. Sure, we will see. You know what's funny? It's almost the exact same Final Four as the League Cup. Only with uh, Man City instead of Southampton. Because Leicester and Manchester United was the other semi-final in the League Cup, which of course Leicester won to get them into position as this is the uh, finalists alongside me. Oh, wait, oops. Almost forgot. <laughs> trying to think. I think this is the first game I'm having on a Friday this career month. I could be wrong, but I think it might be. And when I say on uh, Friday, it's Friday evening. It's Friday Night Football, because that's a thing. Still, I, I guess. I can't remember the last game that was played on a Friday IRL. Was it, was it Arsenal and Leicester? At the start of this season? Has there been a, another game since then? <laughs> Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. I must say, uh, loving the back to back. This is the yes. Liverpool side. Uh, oh. Mignolet starts in goal. Adam Lalana plays with oh. Coutinho in the centre of the park. Oh, and that is also a nice touch. I'm at Sarts. Oh, and it's 1-0. Well, that's an awesome that goal. Pass, that the touch. pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. I think that goalkeeper always knew he was, well... Well, not what he was looking uh, for. Not a, not a best start for Marco so. I'm pleased somebody's going to pay for that uh, goal it's, they uh, just conceded. his 17th goal for the season. Not far off that, really. <laughs> to be honest with the way he's going. Liverpool are leading now. Goal for Liverpool. Number 11, Mohamed Salah. It goes out wide again. Gone out over the touchline. That'll be a throw to the opposition. I was talking to a friend of mine who was another Liverpool fan, and he said he found it hilarious that our past last summer our top sign was a really fast winger who was our top goal scorer, and it looks like this season our top goal scorer is going 
it'd be another really fast winner who we signed in the summer. <laughs> like, well, it's a bit early in the season. Yeah, so it's more goals, but Mane missed a month with injury. And, like, playing against West Ham, he looked like he hadn't missed a second. Like, Liverpool's corner. Normally, when a player is coming back from injury, they take some time to, you know, get back into the field of things. Manny didn't look, problems for them. look like... Chan. He could have probably played all night. I mean, it's probably good in a management by Klopp that he didn't play all night. He looked phenomenal. Oh, for a guy coming back from injury. I'm not an athlete, eight, but I can only imagine how hard it is to come back from an injury and still look like, you know, you, you've missed no amount of games. That is a clever pass, and he might be in here. Goalkeeper hangs on. If Adam Lallana and Philip Coutinho can do that when they come back, and uh, Liverpool season might yet turn around. Not to the point where Simon Mignolet's prediction is going to be in any way accurate because he's a fucking moron. Anyone else hear that? Apparently Mignolet has, has said and that Liverpool can still catch City. As in Man City. Like, I would say, hey, we can't catch Leicester City, but they're below us. Pereira. On the move and able to cut out the pass. There's usually a player out there when they need one, Liverpool, when they want to go into wider areas. If I can find Alana. where I read that as Adam Lallana makes it 2-0. Hang on a second, I got the news up here while well, he's celebrating. Sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. So a real captain's contribution here. With a fine goal, was a good goal. And I also want to maybe. Crucial time, I think, for his side. Uh, I'll he save for the next video. Actually, if I'm quick enough, I might get into this video. I want to talk about that Patrice Everest. Shit, that was it's down. Let's see. Mignolet, Mignolet. I know I saw something about that. Just widen the. On, this, here to two on the uh, news, Number 20. on the application on my phone that gives me uh, on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Updates on maybe it's <laughs> maybe maybe they've removed the it. If the they're like to, uh, the maybe like what you smoking do. Eric Lamella. I would be surprised if Man United could catch Moving City forward. and they're in second place. The opposition now they're here. Made the challenge well. And it's behind for the goal kick. No apologies for focusing on this fellow. He is. He's managed to have plenty of shooting opportunities. Really has tested the keeper and got himself a goal. Maybe if I go at Mignolet himself. Here we go. Simon Mignolet insists Liverpool can wing, still catch Man City and challenge for. I mean, it looks like there's a running down of the clock going on here. Your league title. Going on, but you've got to expect that. Oh, by J.B. Spencer, the 10th of November, 2017. I don't know who Jamie Spencer is, but clearly he is not credible at all, or immediately is a brain-dead moron. 
Perhaps they're both brain dead, I don't know. Liverpool goalkeeper or Simon Minoy insists that the Reds can still catch Premier League leader Manchester City and mount their own title challenge, declaring that anything can happen as winter just start to come thick and fast. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because. Uh, like, is he hiring an assassin to kill Manchester City's players? Because. And everyone else? Because unless all the other teams lose their best players, Liverpool are going nowhere. Or, or significantly up. Like, fourth place might be our best hope. Sure, cross. Still chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Liverpool moved up into fifth place. He's in the standings. The approach play looks very The standings, really. The table. It's a table. That's why it's called the Premier League table when they show it. At half time. But with their defense, yeah. this must have been well, written uh, by a fucking American. No wonder. Here, Alan. And with their defensive record, who would probably be bullshit. Following last weekend's win over West Ham, leapfrogging Arsenal on goal difference after the Gunners' away loss at City and going winning four points of second place Manchester United after they were beaten by Chelsea. The Reds can the Reds still trail City by as many as 12 points which is four games and that is only to level with City. I don't think Mignolet has been paying any attention to City scoring as many goals as they fucking wish. Their goal difference alone is going to make getting past them in after four games a tricky task. And that would require City to lose four games. Are City going to lose four games? I would be surprised if they lose four games all season. Hell, I'd be surprised if they lose one. The confidence to grab the second chance here. I don't know who's the who's the bigger idiot. Who is the idiot here? Is it Minnie or is it this Jamie Spencer guy? With Pep Guardiola's side having won nine consecutive league games to establish a big early lead over the rock table. So one sided today, but all credit to the team. However, Mignolet, who recently capped, captained Liverpool for the first time, is hopeful that they can be caught. Well, you clearly have gone insane with your temporary power. For one, I don't know why Klopp chose you to to be our captain for West Ham. That just screams disaster. Sadio Mane almost stealthily into scoring position here, not picked up. You know, you, you can't manage our defense. Uh, yeah. Liverpool Let's make you the on-field leader of the team. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. It's in dumbass world, maybe. See, so are doing really well at this time. They've got loads of quality, and yet you think we can catch them. Uh, our quality is all in attack, and that still doesn't really help. See, so have quality all over the pitch. Substitute pitch. You know, they have quality in defense and in goal, which we sorely lack. But like always, the Premier League is a long journey. There's Simon Mignolet. Straight at him. A long way to go. Oh, the Belgian international. Oh. 
international. That should be the thing in quotes. Quotes. Because I'm pretty sure Team Okotwa is going to keep me like sitting on the bench until many of the sides. You know what? I should have seen if I had any other international blood in my events if I wanted an international. No career. Oh, doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Another angle on it. Here. After the win at West Ham, we closed the gap. Really? Oh, he's because City won, Chelsea won. Really well, just what he was asking for. Oh, the only team above us who lost were Arsenal and Man United. So they're the teams we closed the gap on. Great job. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair. But look at the score. Oh, we didn't close the gap on City. See? So, what are you talking about, you Belgian-headed idiot? In the busy winter period, anything can happen. What is this, the WWE? What the fuck are you talking about? Anything can happen. Yeah, anything can happen. And, like, you know, we could lose all our games. Oh. Oh, in the month of December. And before anyone says, ah, oh, that's not going to happen. Uh, January last year, we were fucking awful. We were a walking disaster. Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget. Don't it's up. This. To us. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I thought he really thought we could catch Man City. But apparently, it's up to us. So, uh, uh, Manchester City are Premier League champions. Don't worry. Mignolet is not totally crazy. He realizes there is actually no chance we can catch them. Unless all their players lose their legs in the next five minutes. Quick passing from Liverpool to open Let's up the Just check. No, they didn't. Trying to reach, tries to punch it away. God damn. What an opportunity if he picks out the right man. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. It's up to us to be challengers, and that's what we'll try to do. Oh, really? Uh, why didn't you try to do that from the first game, you fucking idiot? Headed down to a teammate. Well, we are going to try a challenge now. Teammates aren't too happy. Oh, it's November! Why didn't you start challenging in August? That's when the Premier League started, you fucking Belgian idiot! See our firm favorites. It's with book markers to lift the title. Will listen at one to seven with Skybet, while Liverpool are concerned distant outsiders at sixty-six to one. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. We may as well be Leicester. <laughs> oh no! Wait, Leicester. Her title win was probably more believable than Liverpool well, establishing anything resembling a title challenge this season. What a fucking moron. And according to that, he was supported by Sky Sports. So this is really what Minulay said? He's really that stupid. Oh, well, he's not completely stupid because he did kind of save himself, but kind of not. I don't know. He's a fucking moron. Opportunity now. <laughs> if Man City are caught by anyone, it will be Man United or maybe Chelsea. He. It won't be Liverpool. It's a long way out, and sometimes they can catch. Keepers by surprise. I would like it to be Liverpool, but that's not going to happen. Jeffrey has chosen to add on four minutes. Until your Klopp sorts out the defence. 
the rule will always be he just there around the top four. Her. And just when you think we're gonna do something significant, we'll pick up a few losses, maybe a few injuries, and people will forget we were in or, or involved in anything significant whatsoever. Pretty straightforward this match. And the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Well, the game petering out a little bit now, with both sides settling for what's on the score. I would probably have a better chance at the take. Is the final whistle. In some low-level... He emphasizes what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. He played in the clear. Into the Champions League final and winning it, then Liverpool would winning the Premier League this season. Bournemouth. And I'm not talking in game. I'm talking Burnley. if I Come took on. over a team Chelsea. in real life. Huddersfield Town nil. Crystal Palace one. Leicester City 1, yeah. Arsenal 1, Liverpool 7, Watford. Thanks for watching. I'm enjoying it. Smash the like button if you did subscribe if you do. And until next time, don't be as stupid as Cyber Media Lake. And have a nice day. United 1. Peace. To United 1. So, what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 88 points. In second, Tottenham Hotspur with.